Welcome back everyone and today I will be unboxing this remat set that I got not too long ago. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's a quick look at the box. I will leave the name um, somewhere on the screen because I honestly can't remember it. It's completely in Japanese um, but it's a little traditional style Japanese sweet set and I thought it would look really cute in the diorama, diorama <laughs> I'm planning to make. So I will open it from the bottom. It comes with eight boxes. Now, as you can see, it has instructions on cutting out pieces of the box because the boxes do come with, um, how do I put it? They come with extra little cardboard pieces once you open it. Although I didn't open it the right way. I think it's hidden under here. I didn't notice this with the last one, but yeah, the little extra pieces to make your own diorama using these, like background props, uh, came with the box. I just didn't open it the right way for me to notice it. And here's what the box looks like. It's very cute, all in Japanese, but you can more or less tell what it's trying to convey. So let's see who I got. Um, these do not come with sweets or gum like the last one. Here is the flyer. Oh, it's that thing again. Someone told me in the comments what this is. It was a matcha uh, in the previous one and that was a stir. So thank you to the person who corrected me. Wow, this is a big set of stuff. Let me get some scissors. Right, uh, so I got this set and here it w is what it looks like. It is so cute. I can't even, <laughs> it's just so cute. Um, it has a lot of pieces in it, which was a little tricky at first, but I managed to get it. So it comes with this little tray of what I think is shaved ice or just mochi with some ice at the bottom to keep it cool. Um, it's very decorated. Even the spoon has a little um, design on it. Hopefully you can see that. And then there's this little tree that looks like the little bird character. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And it's exceptionally textured. It's all amazing. I really am loving this set. I'm only on the first box and I already love it. The back of the flyer has these little cutouts. So I'm assuming they're menus. And these characters are called Pise, Pisuke and Usagi. Next box. And I did get the set, so I'm guaranteed to get all of them, but it's still fun to see which one I get first. And so, oh, this is a very pretty card. And I got, oh, this is the one with the, it's either dango or mochi. I want to say it's mochi, but it comes with a kettle and a whole bunch of stuff. And here's the next set. It comes with quite a bit of stuff, and they're all very detailed. Um, so the first thing is this little bun with a wooden knife and the plate has a little design on the bottom of a bunny i believe <clears throat> the bunny character so that's very cute and then there is this porridge or i'm assuming it is it could be tea and it comes with this part that comes out it's clear and it has this design on the plate which is so cute then there are these tango or buns or mochi, it could either, it could be a lot of stuff. And it has the faces on the front. And it, look at that detail, that's incredible. It has licensing on the bottom, oops. And it comes with a top that you can put on top, or maybe it's like this, nope, maybe like this. Moving on, um, here is the tea kettle. And it's super cute. And has the little bunny character on the top. And then just texture and proper paint job. It's just incredible. The top does not come off, but it's still really cute. That is adorable. I love it. Next box. I'm really bad at opening these correctly. Ooh, where's the flyer? So let's see, we have 
the umbrella set with the cake roll and what looks like a sundae. That's cute. Wow, that is a big umbrella. Had to zoom out to let you have a good look at the whole thing. So this thing actually stands on its own and you have to make sure that this hanging part from it is hanging perpendicular to the other sides or parallel. Sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day. I've been filming for like an hour. Um, it's parallel to these little oops legs so that it doesn't fall over. But here is what it looks like. It's just a cute little flyer. I don't know what it says, but it has the design of the characters all over the umbrella. It's really, really cute. I really like that. And then you can take the umbrella off. You can probably glue this together so it doesn't come off. Um, but yes, the stick comes off. Sorry for the blur, but the stick comes off and then you can just set it in this thing. Cute, isn't it? The ice cream is so cute. It's all one solid piece <laughs> and it has a little guy smushed there against the glass. The attention to detail is just amazing. And then there is this little cake roll that has the little guy on one side and then his butt on the other on his legs and it comes set on this tray. It's really, really pretty. Finally, there is this spoon that has the bunny at the top and it's just really cute. It was hard to get a good shot of the whole thing, but I love this set a lot. It's really cute. And it looks like next is the simple tea set. Well, this has some big stuff in it. So this one comes with this piece of paper, which I'm assuming I put at the bottom for like a little picnic thing. And it has this really nice woven basket with the two little treats shaped like the characters inside. That is so cute. Then it comes with this lantern. Very solid piece, hollow on the inside. The teacup is so cute and it has a little transparent a piece inside to make it look like it's full. Finally, there is the teapot, or I think this is a teapot. It's kind of weird looking. I've never seen something like this, but there's nothing inside, or at least I don't think there was if I lost a piece. Whoops. It's so cute. Next, let's see. Ooh, yes, it is. Come on, get out. <laughs> it is this set with the little guy standing on the table or whatever that is and some dango. And the back has some more flyers for me to cut out, I think. So here it is. It is so cute. It has this little guy. I don't know his name. I'll put it in um, on screen in case I find out what it is. And then it comes with this little milkshake with ice cream or something or just a cup of ice cream oh that's so cute look so much detail is put into these i'm so amazed the table or chair is textured to heck to make it look like bamboo and finally the little dango is so realistic it comes in this tray this white tray hopefully you can see it's blinding and laid white <laughs> and then the little dango has a face on it and then this one doesn't but it has little strawberry stuff on it oh that is so cute adorable let's see oh this is the one with the freaky looking very cool looking um treat on it I'm describing all of the stuff really wrong. So it comes with the matcha that also came in a previous set I got and it's decorated with the characters. And then the matcha inside is really textured, super cute. Then it comes with this little guy, oh, so adorable. He's just white and then it has a little cushion. And I think this would be great for Nendoroid props. That's why I got this set. It comes with really neat little props. 
And then this little guy, which I think is just some more shaved ice, or just ice in general, for him to cool off with this little black tray. A small wooden knife. And then this tray, which is really cute and textured and painted with different designs. This one is really adorable. I love it. I'm, I'm forgetting the flyers have different designs on them. So here's the one for that one. It's really cute. Second to last one. So exciting. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, so this has some kind of a frying device. And then, oh my god, that is so cute. <laughs> and here's the set. It's very interesting and adorable. So first off, there's this guy that looks like he's in red bean paste. Just taking a nice little dip in red bean paste. He's so cute. Looks like a marshmallow. And there's an indentation in the paste for him to sit on. Or in. And I drop him all the time because he's so round. And then there's the top. So you can close it, <laughs> I think. Or it could be a plate as well. It, it seems a little too small to put on top of him. The plate itself is also decorated with the characters. Then we have this little frying device. I think it's to fry mochi. And it has these two little cute mochi characters at the top. They're really textured. And then here is the, I forget what this is called, but it's decorated as well. And then this bowl thing. I'm new to this. I don't know what this is, honestly. It has holes in there, so I'm not sure if that's part of the detail or if I'm supposed to stick something in there. <laughs> and then there is this little guy who is interesting. So he is made to be lying down. His back is pretty flat. And then you're supposed to put these chopsticks on him so he's holding them. And there's that set. So cute. Oh, and we're at the last box, so let's see. Which one am I missing? I haven't been keeping track, actually. <laughs> I think this one is the last one. I don't remember seeing a bamboo contraption. Oh, yes, it's the bamboo one. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And the back of the flyer has just some posters, I think. Oh, look, it's the squishy I recently got. <laughs> Okay, this one is beautiful. I I love everything about it. Let's start with the simplest thing. Um, it comes with this little fan in the shape of the bunny character. It's pink, very textured to look like a real fan opening up. Cute. Then it comes with these two little cream puff characters and they're both so cute and detailed. The cream is textured. The, um, the buns, I guess, <laughs> are textured. Uh, it has this leaf that is resting on what is meant to be a puddle of water. And it has this little design on it, but I just think that's so cute and neat that they may tried to replicate water, even though it's a solid piece of plastic. Finally, we have this... I can't remember the name of it, but a lot of Japanese houses have this, or the traditional houses, and it has this cute little leaf shaped like a crab that actually has the indentation on the water piece, which comes off, and it's a solid rock, but it's textured so that um, you can feel the grain of it. So that's really cute. And then it has the bamboo water dropper thing. <laughs> I wish I knew the name of it! I used to know it and then I forgot because I haven't talked about it in so long. But yes, and it actually moves so you can have some really neat photo shoots with that. Another amazing set by Rement. And here's everything you get in this set. I'm so impressed with this set. I did not actually expect so much stuff. And a lot of the parts are removable so you can mix and match even if you don't want the characters involved in your decoration. I think that's great. I will leave links to this set if it's still available in the description and how much it is and any information I deem necessary. Getting this from Amiami took about two weeks. That is their cheapest shipping option with SAL. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video.